All right, teammates. So I am excited um, to be able to introduce um, a new dimension to our Tuesday training. Uh, let me share my screen real quick. It is called Coach's Corner with Coach B. Walker, right? So this is going to be an opportunity for her to be able to share some great information with you guys. Um, I don't want to steal her thunder. I, we've already previewed what she's going to be discussing. Uh, but with that being said, what I'm going to do, I am going to, first and foremost, um, where you at, Benicia? I'm going to make you a co-host of this meeting. Yep. You are now a co-host of the meeting. And so um, if y'all don't mind, come off mute and y'all give it up uh, for regional vice president, uh, Coach B. Walk about to lace us up with an amazing training on Coach B. You know, this was like a small conversation Nick and I was originally having, right? He was like, yeah, I think that was dope. You talked about that in training, so I'm like, hey, hold on. How I got thrown into this? So I just wanted to start off by saying that, uh, Nick, am I showing it uh, on my end, or are you um, going to pull it up? Uh, you can pull it up on your end. With you, okay, be you, you should guys. be able to... Uh, to do that, let me let me spotlight you real quick. Hold on a second, and so that way um, you can have the um, have the floor. All right, yeah. So you, you should be able to share it from your end. Let me know if you have any problems or anything. Okay, give me a second, y'all. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm, before I even go into sharing, just let me start off. Thank y'all for uh, everybody being on tonight. And then um, somebody hit me up last week and was like, oh, you got some tips on what you can share about what you're going to talk about next week. But I'm just tell y'all, uh, going regional vice president is, and I, I have to say it for everyone on the call, because I think everybody, and I got to wear my shirt, is going to run to RVP, Okay. You're going to run to RVP, so I'm going to show you again. So I believe everyone needs to know this because when you do, do go RVP, and last month, I feel like I was in a slump. I was like, man, if you know you have replacement legs that you leave behind, for those of you that don't know, so you're building your team right now. So I had some strong plate replacement legs, right? So if, if some of them on the call, Chandra Donald, uh, Constance White, and then we had Shandrika Jackson, all three of them. So um, with that being said, you know, I became officially a RVP in the system October 13th. And it was like a lot of things that I knew I had to step up. I had to step up because at that point it's time to rebuild. I've been trying to rebuild, uh, trying to build this summer myself. So I was telling Nick, hey, I want to try to do five recruits a month. So I think the month of August, I did five. I probably did four somewhere around there in July. But this, anyways, going into it, I'm like, okay, well, what can I do differently? What am I not doing right? What opportunities I'm not, I'm not taking in order to take my business to the next level, you know? And so I had to say, you know what? I have to treat this. If I'm going to work for somebody else, I did it for 15 years plus, you know, cause I worked in college too. So I need to make sure I'm working even harder for myself because this is my business. Y'all have to look at it like that now. You know, if you want to work for somebody else, nine to five, seven to four, Monday through Friday, slave, and then you can't work hard for yourself, you have to. So I had to tell myself, how am I going to do this? I'm going to treat this the same way. I'm not going to get up in the morning at 10 o'clock and lay around in the bed because you know it get good when you know you're working for yourself. I'm telling you, you gotta, you have to make sure you set up a schedule. Time management is everything. And so I said, okay, well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure I'm taking advantage of the things that's on social media. I'm going to make sure I start doing the things that's needed in order to try to take my business into the next level. If I'm setting goals, I need to make sure they're put in place. And so I'm going to say this, but I want, I don't want to go into it too far. I want to show you a quick um, YouTube video that I did pull that I feel like kind of went with this. <clears throat> so bear with me, y'all. Okay, this is um, it's gonna come up real quick. Hi, 
I'm Dr. Amy Killen. I have my own medical practice, and I've been using Doodly now for a few weeks. I want you to know something. That the bigger your dream is, I want you to understand the harder to grind. Okay, so Listen to me. Luck is for leprechauns. Hey, baby, hey, baby, we need to see the video. We see the, um, we see the, uh, it all starts with you. That's the slide we see on our screen. <laughs> Nick, you probably should have been the, the host and just showed the PowerPoint. Hold on, y'all. Give me, give me a second. Just bear with me, y'all. I get it together. Yep, we see it now. Okay. Listen to me. Luck is for leprechauns. And you ain't green. Luck is for leprechauns. And you're not green. I'm gonna say it again. Luck is for leprechauns and you're not green. What I am telling you is that if you're willing to go beast mode, you can have whatever you want. I'm a living example. You can start from nothing. Start from nothing. You know the story. Mom was a teenage mom. Start with nothing. Grandma had 14 kids. Start with nothing. Two bedroom house, one bathroom. Mom got kicked out because she had me. Start with nothing. Start with nothing, high school dropout. Start with nothing, homeless. 12 years to get a four-year degree from the university. Start with nothing. If you are willing to grind, I believe effort, and you've heard me say it. You might come from prison. You might have a father that can give you everything your little heart desires, but you will not outwork me. Listen to me, I told you, I told you, I told you, I want you to think about those goals. I want you to taste them. I want you to, I want, I want you to be, I want you to internalize it. I'm not asking you to tell me what your goals are because I'm interested in hearing everybody in the room. I couldn't, I couldn't possibly do anything with it. Listen, this is what I'm telling you. I'm telling you to dream your dream because I want you to feel it. I want you to taste it. I want you to know how close, I, I want you just like when the weather is changing, you can feel it. I want you to be able to feel when you're getting closer to it and closer to it. But more importantly, I want you to know when you dream your dream that there are other people who are dreaming the exact same dream. You might be the ant, and the ant has very little, but he's determined, he's strong. He has a dream and a goal, and he'll do whatever it takes. And I need you to understand that the bigger your dream is, the earlier you're going to have to get up. There you go. The bigger your dream is, the earlier you're going to have to get up. The longer you're going to have to stay up. The bigger your dream is, the more effort you're going to have to put in. And for those of you who raise your hand and put up 70%, you'll never see it. You'll never see it for those of you who are 70%, 70% beast mode, 30% gazelle. <laughs> when you say to yourself, when the ball comes out, this is what I want to accomplish, you're not the only person that wants to accomplish it. And now I ask you this question, what do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? <laughs> What do you do when you're not the only one that wants to make a million dollars in your company? You're not the only one that wants to be the president. You're not the only one that wants to be a CEO. What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You got to outgrind them. You got to get up earlier. You got to stay up later. You've got to execute and you've got to go from 70 to 120. Oh, excuses, guys. I wish I could. 
I wish you could pay me $1,000 today. I can tell you 70% is enough. I wish you could pay me $1,500. I wish you could pay me $1,500. But it's not going to happen. You're thinking, you're thinking, I want you to get it out of your system. You're thinking, I'm going to work hard for 10 years. Now I'll relax. Now that's what you're thinking. This ain't for you. All right, all right, all right. He said the heart, the, the bigger your dream, the earlier you got to get up. I don't think y'all heard him. The bigger your dream, the earlier you got to get up. That makes me go back to what I'm saying er, uh, earlier. Hold on, let me switch back, y'all. I'm trying to switch back to the screen. You see it. Okay, so that would help. That makes me go back into what I was saying earlier. I had to go back and say, hey, what is it that I'm going to do for my business to take it to the next level? It's all about me. It's all about the moves that I make in my business. If I want it, guess what? Guess how many other people out there want the same thing that I want? They want it bad. Some people want it even more bad, worse than I do because they don't have some of the things I already have. So y'all have to understand, you have to make sure if you want it, you got to go get it. So for me, I was saying, hey, if I want it, I got to get up out the bed. I have to make a schedule. So I told Nick, I said, I'm going to treat this like, hey, if I work from eight to five on my job, I may work from eight to eight at night. And y'all know it's happened for Blessed Dynasty y'all on the call. It's happened where I'm, I'm on the calls eight, nine o'clock at night. And so my thing was, how can I tap into... Uh, the life that everybody basically looks at every day. Social media is something that's really, really big. That's something everybody looks at every day. I wake up in the morning, it's a habit. I'm looking at my phone, right? And so that's something that somebody's going to do. So the first thing, my thing was, let me create a brand for myself. I know a lot of people. People know me. I went to school with a lot of people. I have my sorority sisters. I have my, my college friends. I have my friends from back home, people that I know from church. But let me go out there and make sure that I'm presenting myself with this, this, this brand, this image, because people are looking. Okay, so when you share that part of you, can everybody hear me? Can y'all hear me? When you share that part of you and you're creating that brand, make sure that you are posting things that are positive. We're living in a, 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 a time right now, you guys, where several people are passing away. So we need to make sure that when we are posting something, we have something that's uplifting them up. So that's where I want to come from. Motivation, um, encouraging, inspiring people, uh, posting pictures where they see me talk or uh, just anything. But what happens is as soon as you start posting certain things, people like them, people are commenting, you know, then people start inboxing you. And that's what's, that's kind of what's happened is here is you have to make sure that you create a brand, okay? So that's the first thing. Okay, so um, when you're creating that brand, uh, you want to have a constant, a constant presence on social media platforms. So be active and be you. Don't be someone else because you're trying to get the attention from others. Be you. You know, people understand and know when you are being yourself. Be you, but don't be afraid to share that with other, with other people. Um, like I said, people are watching what you post and when you post. You know, that's very important. Just like with any job, you want to be careful about what you post out there because if you post something that's negative, you know, or has you in a negative light, then that's something that's going to uh, stick out to others. So um, also, social interactions is important. It draws the crowd. Um, people want to see positive posts. I already said that. They want to be inspired. So when you wake up in the morning, you put a post on the internet, put something out there. Um, I know that uh, I'm just going to say something about somebody on the, the call, like Tamala. Uh, I think she had something really positive get, uh, yesterday that I looked at. And I was like, oh, that was really nice. So I liked it. You know, other people will like your comments as well. Um, this is just a way to attract the, attract the attention to yourself. And I also use it through um, Instagram and I, I link it to my Facebook post. So whatever I post on Instagram is always linked to my Facebook post. So whomever is not my friend on Facebook, they're my friend on Instagram. And so they'll like the post as well. And so like um, that gives me the opportunity to make some type of connection with them. Um, <clears throat> they're looking for something different that many people don't post. 
You know, there are some things where you can catch someone's attention where you're kind of talking about your business. People don't post, uh, like I said, the motivational things, um, just inspiring them. Hey, what you weren't able to do yesterday, you know, the good thing is that you can start over with, with uh, your and not um, let your dreams die out today. You know, certain little small things like that. The last one I have is they want to know that you are human. Don't be afraid to share family pics and videos of yourself. I know I told Constance this one time, hey, you, you can post pictures of your family, you know, certain things like that because people want to see that, you guys. And just be mindful of the type of attention that you want. Okay, um, I'm gonna go into the whole recruiting thing. Um, so the way we started, uh, with the recruiting, you know, like I said, like one day I honestly watched something that Tanya Post said. She said, hey, you got to be bold when you're trying to recruit. You got to go into these people's, um, you got to DM, DM them. That when you're DMing them, she said, don't be afraid. So her post was, hey, when you when you enter into their, um, their uh, Facebook, when you're entering into their Facebook, I got a message that says slow down. So I must be talking too fast. Am I talking too fast to y'all? Okay, so when you enter into somebody's Facebook account, when you're in, uh, messaging them, okay, hey, how you doing? You can small, start with a small conversation, and I have some examples at the end. Hey, how you doing? And of course, they're gonna be like, I'm fine. Um, are you? I just want to ask you a question. I know you have a great career, but are you interested in saving and making additional income? Well, who isn't, y'all? Come on now, who isn't? Everybody wants to make and save additional income. So it's like one of those questions where it's like, well, uh, I can't say no because then I'll be lying, right? And so that's really how it kind of has started. You know, just I listened to something one night Tanya Post said, I said, hey, well, she said you gotta be bold. So if I'm, I'm gonna be bold about it. So I went ahead and I started messaging different people, right? So my thing was, instead of just surfing the internet, looking at other people's pages, let me show up in their DMs. So that's what I wanted to start doing because I know I saw something that said, if you don't tell people what you sell, how will they know what you sell? So if I'm not telling people, hey, I got a business opportunity, how am I going to get those people how am I going to recruit them on the team? I can't because I'm not even doing anything. You have to make sure you let people know exactly what you're doing, you know, so show up in their DMs, okay? Um, who should I reach out to? Some people are concerned about who should I reach out to? Um, like I said earlier, kind of get to know your audience. The interaction between you, like when I post on my wall, and people like my post or they make those comments. That gives me an opportunity to, one day I went down, just went down the list of the likes. And those are the people that I inbox that entire day. I just dropped it, dropped the DMs right in their box. And so that's something that you could do because that interaction is between those, the two people. So what you wanna do, the key is of course, we know is to market the right demographics, right? The right audience. So you wanna make sure you are looking for that qualified business. So we wanna make sure if you have somebody uh, between the ages, we know 25 and 55 is typically my target market. Um, and there are some exceptions. Uh, also make sure that these individuals do not have a background. We already know that. So if you are, if you kind of know them, you're familiar with them, um, you know, you don't have to ask those questions, but if you're not familiar with them, you know, they can't get a like they can't get an insurance license if they have a background. So you want to make sure you ask some questions um, as well. Um, also, a good way to put yourself out there. I know when you do post, I went ahead and I created like a business page as well on my Facebook account and I linked it to um, my personal page. And so a way to do that also is by you can purchase ads like each day. Um, you can have an ad that you like and you can post it and you can pay like $5 uh, a day for the ad, but it doesn't charge you until it reaches the amount of people that you actually wanted to reach. So um, let's say you set it for like 2000 people, right? And so that's when it's gonna charge you. So it'll do that for five days. Um, so that's a good way. Like if you have a really good post that you want and you think you want everybody to reach uh, it to reach a certain amount of people, that's a good way to get, get out there. Because y'all, the good thing about it is this business is just not in Texas. 
it's in the the you know the United States. So it's not just in Texas. So you can actually have people in different states, you know. So that's the good thing about it. So when you're reaching it, you can set it to actually um have people uh in the United States, not just Texas. And so that's what I do is when I set set it, like if I do a post, I'll set it for the United States. And then I'll put my age group at 25 to 55. Okay. Okay, so another key is consistency. Um, what you do every day matters more than what you do once uh, once a while. So if you say, hey, I know I need to start recruiting, I have to find different ways to do it. And social media is one of the ways to do it. So every morning you need to make, and I say morning because I'm a morning person and that's when I start my day, you know? And so some of you, 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 you may have to start it in the evening. That's fine because you have people that check their, their social media accounts all day long. So y'all probably on the way to work, your lunch break, whenever you, you check your social media account, take time to, you know, actually inbox other people during that time. But what you do every single day, that consistency matters. It matters, you know, and the thing is, you can't give up just because you don't get the responses that you want. You're not going to get the responses that you want. And my thing is, that's okay, because you don't want everyone on your team. That's the attitude that you have to have. You don't want everyone on your team, you know? And so if you have to beg somebody to be on your team, you gonna have to beg them to do business and that's going to be tiring. So, you know, don't worry about that. Just be consistent in what you're doing because it will pay off. Trust me. So uh, what you have to do is you guys set a goal of how many messages you want to send out uh, each day to each new, to a new prospect. Okay. And so that number should be no less than 30 people. Okay. So that's what I told my teammates. I want y'all to send it out to 30 people a day, you know, so if you send it out to 12, 12 people, that's not enough. You got to keep on sending it, send it out to 30. So 30, no less than 30 messages a day, different people. Okay. Um, people are more prone to read in the mornings. We got to be honest. So when I wake up, I wake up three, four in the morning sometimes. And that's when I start messaging. And so um, people are more prone to, to do in the mornings. Like I said, depending on what time you really do your social media, that's up to you. Um, also, what you wanna do is you wanna respond immediately. So if somebody, if you say, hey, are you interested in making additional, earning additional and saving, saving additional income? They're gonna say, yes. Like I have people who respond immediately. Okay, so then you're gonna reply immediately to them. Do not leave them hanging like days or you know a day or come back 24 hours. You're gonna lose that person. Make sure that you get them um, and I'll go ahead and schedule the appointment. Now, like I said, I'm gonna show you an example in a little while. Um, also, after you do that, go ahead and book the appointments and get their phone number and email. You wanna make sure when you book the appointments, you gotta have the email to send the Zoom link, but you wanna go ahead and get that phone number as well. Get the phone number because I know I've had some people who have set up appointments. I have heard, hey, I set up some appointments. I'm waiting and I'm like, you got that phone number? I don't have that phone number. Why are you going to get in contact with them? Facebook, you know, you just log out of Facebook and you ain't got to answer. But that phone, you know, ring. So get the phone number. Make sure you get the phone number, email address and phone number. Okay. Um, so this is an example of somebody I really talked to. Uh, this is April. April and I went to college together. It's my sorority sister. So um, I said, good morning, April. I know that you have a successful career, but I have a quick question. Do you keep your options open for making and saving additional income? She was like, hey girl, and that's how she talks. She was like, yes, I do. And so I said, awesome. Would you be willing to schedule a Zoom meeting Thursday or Friday to discuss in detail? It will be about 20 minutes. So she was like, sure, Thursday will be fine. And um, this is me in the white. So I said, Gr uh, great. Can you meet at 4 or 5 p.m.? She said, five is good. May I have your email address? She gave it to me. I already know April's phone number. So I've had her phone number for years. And so we locked it in, had her appointment that uh, that Friday, or th that Thursday, my apologies. So we had our appointment that Thursday. So it went well, okay? This is the next one. <clears throat> uh, so same thing. Hey, good evening. This was actually an evening. Good evening, Candice. 
Uh, I know that you have a successful career, but I have a quick question. Do you keep your options open for making and saving additional income? Candace and I also went to school. She goes to the church without walls. So same church. I know her and her, her and her husband since I was a freshman in college. Great people, right? So she said, uh, good morning. I'm always open to listen. <laughs> so I said, awesome. Would you be open to a Zoom meeting either Friday or Saturday? It'll be uh, 20 minutes. She said, I could possibly do Friday. What time and what's the business? Then I, you know, I said, okay, well, let me see. Has anyone ever spoken to you about the power of having a life insurance license uh, and investment license? And you guys, I was trying to click into that missing something. So it, it, it should have said life insurance license and investment license. So she was like, no, ma'am. And I was like, okay, I'll explain in detail. I have a few openings on Friday in the morning and uh, the evening. What will work best for you? She said 11 a.m. on tomorrow morning. I'll put this on my schedule. So I met with Candice, like I said, great people. We doing a, we're doing a, uh, we did a follow-up. Um, the thing is, is that also with Candice, she has, a, they're doing a nonprofit. So it's really these, uh, they work with kids. So she's talking about the financial piece that they have and how she wants to bring me in on that. So really you can also use this as a networking piece. We're supposed to follow back up this Monday again because she is interested. And so I'm looking like, you know, and I almost didn't send her this message cause I'm thinking, she ain't gonna be interested. I didn't know all this was going on in her life either. So you just never know who God is leading you to and what doors can open up for you. Use the contacts in your social media, you guys. Use them, okay? So these are two examples. Um, I can send them, but those are the two examples that I have. I didn't want to like do an overkill. Um, but this is kind of like a little sum that I did. So this is like the little puzzle pieces coming together because it's going to take more than one person when you're trying to grow, grow the team. Just like Nick showed you the base shop numbers earlier. It's going to take more than one person. It's going to take more than three. It's going to take the team coming together. You know, you can't have that one puzzle piece off to the side. Everybody got to come together and work together. So I said this, imagine, and I hope you kind of understand this because of my mind. Imagine if five teammates in your base shop sent out 20 emails in one day. Let's say a day, right? Okay, so out of 100 messages as a total team, let's say 50 respond, okay? Because some people just open up the messages, they don't respond. So let's say 50 respond. So my little formula, so we got five by five, right? We got five people sending out five, let's say five messages, five people, everybody say, hey, I got five people that responded and said they were able to book an appointment, right? So let's just say 25 appointments were scheduled for the week as a team. So we know 13 will keep and then seven will do some sort of business. So we used to do this last year uh, with Nick and uh, Raheem at the end at each Tuesday, we stay back the leaders and do this. So the numbers, it's a numbers game. So just imagine that if you said, hey, let me send out 20 messages a day. I'm not gonna just send out 20 messages by myself. Everybody gonna send out. We need to make sure we have an accountability apartment, uh, a, not a part, accountability partner. We need to make sure we have accountability partners to make sure that, that that's happening. You know, it can't just be the coach saying, hey, did you send this out? Did you send this out? No, we need accountability partners that say, hey, make sure you get your 20 out today. Make sure you, you did you get your 20 out today? Because we got to get those appointments scheduled, you guys. But before I uh, uh, get off, I did want... Um, Somebody from the team, I did ask Sakrita if she could actually speak about her experience um, with recruiting through social media, because she's actually used the message herself of, on quite a few people, and she's had some success because she's actually recruited someone, or she has two recruits this month, um, so I kind of wanted to have her speak before uh, I end. Go ahead, Sakrita. You got it. Yeah, I'm trying to find Secreta. I don't know where she's at. Um, I don't know if she may have accidentally fallen off. 
No, that signal would be bad when she, yeah. Okay, I didn't see her. I saw her earlier. She was. I saw her. Yeah, I saw her earlier. Okay, well, I'm gonna ask Joseph if he can speak just briefly. Joseph is also used, um, at, Joseph, I actually didn't even talk about LinkedIn. Joseph has had some success on LinkedIn um, using the message. So I'm gonna ask Joseph to uh, say something real quick. Hey, good, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, yeah, uh, I, the exact message that um, Benicia just showed you, I've been using it on LinkedIn and I started out hitting up people that I knew, like, you know, former school classmates from high school, college and things like that. And then after that, I got a little creative with it and I use the same message, but I started, I'm, I've been driving as a limo driver and Uber driver for four years. So I just started hitting up all the drivers that said they worked in Houston and started getting a lot of appointments that way. Cause they were like, Oh, you're a driver too. So they, they had that, we had that driver connection, but, the the message itself you know of making additional income and saving i know as a driver especially a driver who you know works his own business other drivers understand that immediately because we understand making our own schedule and making a little extra income so we don't have to be in the streets that long so it started to really just connect with a lot of different drivers and then you know people that knew me knew me that, that it's like oh i trust joseph i'll talk to him but people that didn't know me from adam but it's just like, oh, you're a driver. You've been doing it for four years. Okay, I'll I'll lean in and listen. And then I started getting people to other drivers to respond, and started getting I actually recruited at least what I recruited one driver, and then I started getting meetings with other drivers that because they, I guess you know, drivers we understand our language. It's like people, if somebody's in a fraternity, talk to another person in a fraternity, you kind of bond over that, and you know each other's languages. But that's been my experience on social media, particularly LinkedIn. And then with LinkedIn, you, know, you can search not just in Texas, but you know, it's a lot of people on there. So I initially just literally just, literally just did Houston area. Then I did state of Texas. So I didn't overwhelm myself and then started building the messages and re replying immediately to people, like she said. Okay, thank you, Joseph. Uh, Secreta just got back on. I saw her, Nick, real quick. So she can say something just really quick. Hey, hello everyone. Good evening. Um, I know uh, it's been a minute. Um, it's talking about utilizing social media, your different platforms, and even where you are um, in your careers. And I know Benicia and Constance and I would try to brainstorm some different things to do. And so pretty much that's how our um, Saturday um, meetings came about with our wealthy cocktails. Um, and then also uh, utilizing social media um, I know I kind of, you know, backed away from that because I'm not on there like that. I'll post and then I'll turn around and maybe not be on there for a while. And so I had to get a little comfortable with actually using that as a, a platform. And like Benicia said, you really can't worry about those who are not responding to you because you're going to have a lot of people just look at your message. And you're like, well, dang, you're not going to at least say no, yes you know, something. So you can't even really just be worried about whether they respond or not. So it took me a, a while to actually, you know, understand that. And then once I got over that, I was good and I was sending out my messages. Um, I know one time uh, a few of my teammates, we were on uh, Zoom and we were actually putting together things that we can say uh, to make sure we're going at the right angle whenever we are reaching out to people on social media. And uh, sometimes, you know, we're thinking about who to reach out to. Uh, oh, what is their name? Because I know my name is not my name on social media. So, you know, whenever you're trying to take those things into consideration, you're, you're struggling trying to see who to reach out to. So um, as it was mentioned before, whenever you're scrolling, hey, this would be a you know good person to reach out to. Oh, I remember such and such like my picture. And I forgot that they did X, Y, and Z. And I know that they may have some people... Um, that I can reach out to as well. So just go through your uh, social media, think of people at work who you can utilize. I know Joseph uh, mentioned being in a sorority or fraternity, you know, um, also use that as a different um, way to reach out to different people. And then another thing that we're trying to do is reach out to the community. I know um, we're trying to get a partnership with one of the um, local community colleges because they're doing workshops via Zoom. 
So that's some different things that we're trying to, you know, do and, you know, think outside of people that we know and reach out to others in the community. So there's different ways that you can, um, you know, reach out. You just have to tap into those different avenues. So that's pretty much all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you, Secreta. All righty, um, you guys. So, but when I was saying it, and Secreta is like, so right, like, um, with us trying in the past, we were like, this ain't gonna work. Like, you know, but you got to can't think negative. You have to make sure you snap, snap out of it. Those negative thoughts, like, I'm like, uh-uh, I ain't gonna be a negative Nancy today. I'm about to take over the world. That's how I always think. So while others are asleep, and you'll hear me say that, I'm, a, I'm, I'm woke, I'm up, while others are asleep. So you can't sleep on it. Make sure that you stay in everyone's inbox. People need income right now. This is the holiday season. We already know, hey, okay, don't think of it. Oh, they don't want to spend $99. No, people understand. Once I see, you said your commission level is what? No. You made how much? No. I want to make what you make. Like I tell them all the time, when Nick showed me what he made as a regional vice president, and I said, I need you to write that on my board because I don't want to know how all these other <laughs> commissions i'm not concerned about the senior rep all that i need you to write regional vice president on that board i took that picture and then i made us make sure it was in my mind that entire time and so when i want to give up i have to keep going because i have a dream in mind make sure that you think like that when others are asleep Make sure you stay woke all the time. When other people are not inboxing the people, are they playing and they looking at videos on their phone? Stay in other people's inbox, you guys. Instagram, LinkedIn. I did not think, Joseph, when we got on the call, I did not think that this young man was, and I have to say this because I'm being honest, y'all know I'm always honest. I did not think this young man would join. I'm like, what is, what? Joseph, Joseph done got this young man on the car, he's not joining. The guy was like, oh, I'm interested. And he's taking his test right now. I hope I, we get a good, a good uh, text about uh, him passing his test tonight. He was like, I'm very interested. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, all right, Joseph, you know? So imagine if everyone on the team is doing this, you know, if everyone will buy into this, how many recruits we could get? We could have so many. Nick is showing us numbers. What, 30? You have 30 by 30 up there, Nick? You could surpass 30 by 30 if everybody got five recruits individually. Imagine that. Y'all have to make sure that in your mind, you're telling yourself this, this is a goal that we want personally. Not, it doesn't even have anything to do with you looking at the bay shop. Start doing this personally, telling yourself, I want five by five. Each month, I want five by five. And I'm going to get those five by five. Right now, I have three by, three by 40 something. I'm like, you know what? I have some more work to do. I have to go get at least two, three more people myself. Maybe I surprise myself one day and personally get seven by seven. Who knows? But I kind of make sure that I, I keep doing what I need to do. Stay in those people's, I said people's, stay in everyone's inbox, you guys. Stay in it, you know? And so this is one the pitch I have because this is us all coming together to work through social media. I don't care if it's LinkedIn, Instagram, if it's uh, Facebook, anything that you use that I'm not even familiar with. Some of you, let's be honest, you're on the dating sites, you guys. You, Stay in their DMs about your business on the dating sites too. <laughs> I mean, you know, so listen, uh, this is what I want you to do. I want you to be bold. I want you to be heard. Set daily goals. Set those daily goals. You have to set your daily goals. Um, make moves and set appointments. Do not wait until it's the last minute to say, oh, I got to try to reach this goal at the, the last, very last minute, a month in. Start from the, from the top. You know, start, start with that. Set those goals, make moves, make appointments right away when you, um, when you um, actually get in contact with those on social media. Uh, take the initiative. Don't wait on your coach. Get an accountability partner. You know, so uh, Secreta, and Joseph, they, they could call each other. Hey, did you do you send out your 20 um, messages today? You know, you don't have to just wait on the coach to say that. Get an accountability partner. That is very important. And also, the last thing, don't give up. 
please do not give up. This business, it's, it's not easy. It's not. Don't give up, you guys. Make sure that you believe that in the impossible, you have to believe. With God by your side, on your side, you can do anything. And I'm telling you, if any, any of y'all were on that call yesterday when Stephen talked about it, he said, do not give up. There are going to be some times where you, you want to give up. There have been times where I wanted to give up. Don't give up. And I'm telling you, you're going to get discouraged sometimes when you look at your, your text, like she just said, somebody may not reply. It's okay. Go to the next person. Keep inboxing them. The thing is to be consistent. Be consistent and understand that your business is going to go to the next level. I'm telling you. Because I'm telling you this month, this is just what we just got a little taste of it. But next month, with everybody else on board, we're going to do great things. All right, you guys, that's kind of it. I hope this has helped. I'm out. <laughs> great job, man. Hey, Excellent. yo. Excellent job. I'm telling you right now, um, family, that was awesome. That was amazing. Um, are you able to um, unshare your screen? Coach, there it is. All right, perfect. Man, excellent job. We are super duper uh, just proud of you for the great information that you shared. Um, I'm telling you, Demi, that, that stuff right there is a game changer, especially for people. It doesn't matter what season of your business that you're in, whether you are a person that you just uh, started the business and you even still in your warm market. This is a way that you can actually be a little greedy. You know, I mean, you, yeah, I know you still got your, your, your best friends and your, your church members, and your coworkers, that folks that are on your top 25 name list hadn't even made it through that whole name list. But now this gives you a whole nother market to tap into that's beyond the people that are on your top 25 name list. This is how you can be greedy. And now some of you guys might be at a place to where you might be in a lull in your business where the activity is not just there. And, you know, and you're looking for ways. What are some things that I can do that's outside of the box? to really start getting more activity. Well, she just gave you just a, a, a way to go about it. I know you've heard us talk about social media, but you just dissected the steps that you take and then giving people language uh, on what to write and how to respond. I think that that's so, so powerful. So to me, what Benicia really just did was the, the new age, the 2020 version of prospecting, right? Um, in old Primerica, you, 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 you know, be in the malls maybe, or doing all these, other kinds, all these face to face type prospecting. But what Benicia really just did was open the door for us, for all of us on this call to the new age of prospecting. Right. And so what you have now is you have a leg up on other people. She's giving it to you right now. And so it's so um, important that we take all take advantage of it, right? Um, they've tested it, they've seen it work. Um, and so now it's extremely important that we all take advantage of it so that we can really get in the game and get this thing going. And I mean, just like when you're in the mall or in the Home Depot or the Lowe's and you, you talk to the people and you're handing out business cards, you gotta do a lot of it, right? You gotta touch a lot of people. You gotta get a lot of names and numbers. And so uh, Benicia really just opened that thing up for us. So I appreciate you um, for that, Benicia. Absolutely, man. And you just work in the numbers. You work in the numbers because the results come through the scheduled appointments. If you're focusing on that qualified market uh, that Coach B-Walk talked about, and that's who you're targeting with your direct messages, and you set those appointments, then results are going to happen. I mean, you can't plant a lot of seeds and not reel the harvest. It's, it's going to happen. Something is is going to come to bear and so we're excited about that so thank you so much uh coach b walk shout out to secreta <laughs> shout out to secreta and yeah joseph bruno man um and i just see big things on the horizon for you guys so if you all don't mind y'all come off of mute and y'all give it up uh for coach b walk and blessed dynasty <laughs> Thank you. Outstanding. Outstanding. Absolutely. Well, guys, look, I mean, um, I think that this is a good place to kind of uh, shut it down right there. Coach B Walk, any party, any last comments, any last things you want to share with the team? I know sometimes you can end a train and be like, oh, I forgot to say that. Any any last 
words or wisdom or comments you want to share with the team before I stop the recording? Well, no, I mean, you can stop the recording. First of all, just y'all, thank y'all for, um, I guess, like, just kind of hearing me out. You know, I'm new at this, so I'm kind of, I don't know, I was kind of nervous, so I probably spoke really fast. If you do have any questions, um, you can always call me, reach out, and, you know, just any pointers that you need, I'll help you uh, in any, any kind of way I can, because at the end of the day, this is family. You know, Bless Dynasty, the hierarchy, uh, the Bracey Bay Shop, Prove Me Boot, we all fam. It doesn't matter. Nick, <laughs> you got y'all got like five names. <laughs> but I'm saying like we're all family. And so don't feel like at, you can't reach out to me and um because you can. If you need to reach out to any one of those that spoke, uh Secreta, Joseph, you know, we have some people on the call. I know I saw one of our new recruits that we actually uh did. I did actually reach out to her and prospect to her this way as well. And so she's on the call. But I'm just saying, um, just like I said, be consistent. You know, don't don't give up. Um, just be consistent with what you do. And then to make sure just to be honest, you know, because they're gonna ask you at some point in time, they're gonna say, Hey, what's the name of the company? And then you're going to say Primerica and somebody, you know, that you may have some people that may say they've heard about it. Some people that haven't heard about it, you know, um, but just make sure I would say, make sure you know your craft as well, because when you are in people's inbox, you can't stop to message Andrea or Kui or uh, Constance or um, Nick, any, anybody, any of the leaders, uh, Miss Roslyn or Jack, you can't during that time that you don't know when they're gonna be able to reply. So make sure you know your craft. Um, make sure that you're studying, understand how to re respond to these individuals because they may ask you those questions. Okay, well, how long has this company been around? Come on now, you need to know <laughs> that. Who we are, what we do. Make sure you know those things. So study your craft, that's very important. They're gonna ask these things. Um, but you know, like I said, uh, like Rahima did say, Hey, that's just like uh, old school. We used to go to the mall and post up. And but when I first joined, we did go to the mall for real. Like, and we did post up. I remember walking the mall one day and uh, we went to HEB too, Mara, Mara Arsenal and myself. And then, you know, I also, I recruit, recruited Arnold Collins off of Facebook back then too. So, you know, you got to make sure that you're using every everything. So if you are still going to work, Talk to them too. Y'all got y'all mask on and you going out to eat. So make sure you're talking to them with your mask on too, you know, and just don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, you guys. Make sure that you are understanding what our purpose is in this business, what we are here to do, you know? And so that is very important. Like Nick said, hey, a holiday is here, but death, death is, can come any day. So that doesn't stop anything. So make sure you're getting out there. You're, you're getting in those people's um, inboxes the best way that you can, you guys. Um, just reach out to me if you need anything. All right. Awesome job, sis. Awesome job. Thank you again so much for that.